Run-ins with the law are never a light-hearted matter. Everyone should strive to never end up on the wrong side of an encounter with law enforcement. But what happens when police have to face criminals with active warrants? The adrenaline's wearing off, starting to hurt a little bit. I get hit on my, on my left side. From someone injuring an officer in the middle of a chase to someone preying on innocence. This is new to me. Here are some incidents where criminals realize you can never outrun the law. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! The first incident revolves around a 20-year-old Jaquan. On June 29, 2023, in Monona, Wisconsin, an officer was on patrol with his K-9 unit, Jacko. He noticed a vehicle without a license plate. He tried to initiate a traffic stop. Instead of stopping, Jaquan led the police in a high-speed chase. Upon noticing the police lights, Jaquan started speeding. He began driving recklessly. The officer continued to chase him. At one point, his speed exceeded 100 miles per hour. After a while, other officers soon caught up with the chase. To stop the chase, city officials allowed the use of spike strips. An officer tried to deploy it, but Jaquan drove onto the sidewalk to avoid the spikes. Other officers were able to successfully hit Jaquan's vehicle. His vehicle started to slow down. I'm the spikes. Fish from Wingra and he almost 
almost rammed a squad. Sorry, passing Spruce. Now Midland. Eugene, you can call it again. Alright, east on Aaron Street. East on Aaron. Sorry, Jockle. Spike's hit. Spike's hit. Spike's hit. Nice work. We got hit. Did you? Yeah. Kate 538, I've been spiked too. I'm gonna try to get out ahead of him and slow him down so I don't lose this pursuit. He exited his vehicle while it was still moving and started running on foot. A firearm was also seen in his possession. Meanwhile, when the officer exited his cruiser to give chase, Jaquan's vehicle collided with him. He has been spiked though, I can confirm it. Him and I both have. Mailback, white shirt, khaki pants. An officer promptly deployed his K9 unit, Jacko. The officers noticed Jaquan trying to rob a vehicle at gunpoint, but he was unsuccessful. They ordered him to get on the ground, but he ignored the order. Jacko caught up to him and brought him down. Here, Jacko here, 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 here. Jacko here. Jocko here! You still see him, Eugene? Get in with that speed! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Jocko here! Attempt to carjacking! Watch out, Eugene! Get on the ground! Who chose you? Get on the ground! Watch out, Eugene! Jocko here! 32 in his hand! 32! Stop him, Jocko! Stop him! Officers quickly ran up to him with their firearms drawn. Jiangquan finally threw his firearm away. He was quickly handcuffed. He claimed that Jacko bit him. The officer then requested a paramedic unit. Get out of the ground! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Drop the fucking gun! Drop the gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! I'm sorry! I'm sorry. What a gunpoint! I'm sorry! Roll on your stomach! Okay. I'm My dog's stomach. on the bite. He's got a okay. 32. Okay, please! Okay. Roll on your stomach! All over! I am! I am! Please get him! Arms out! Ah! Put your arms out to your side! On your stomach, arms to your side! Hands behind your back, now! Come on, come on. Hands behind your back! Do not move. Do not move. I'm holding me. Stay down. It's right behind you, where my ride along is. My squad got destroyed. I hit you, I'm sorry. No, it, it, the suspect hit me, you're good. The suspect hit me. I'm good. You guys both good? We're good. Uh, I'm beaten. Okay. Yeah, you got bit. Lay on the ground. Go ahead. Hey, okay, I'm sorry, man. Huh. Damn. Hey. You good? I think so. Okay. K-538, we're Shit. into an EMS for a uh, dog bite. I also got struck by the car. I'm sorry. I bite. I, did anybody secure the suspect vehicle? Hey, uh. Okay, affirm if you can start EMS, you got a dog bite. Hey, does anyone know what, where we are right now? Where we are, where are we? We're at 755 Braxton. 755 Braxton and... I got it on our channel one. I don't know if I need EMS from me or not. I got ran over getting out of my car. My squad also got smoked. The injured officer informed others of what led to the injury. The other officer requested two EMT units, one for the officer and the other for Jaquan. One of the officers informed others that Jaquan tried to carjack amid the chase. I got ran over getting out of my car. It hit me on my this side. My squad's destroyed. It ripped my whole driver's door off my car. Oh, okay. Um, do you need me to take Jocko? No, I'm good. Okay. My left leg's just starting to hurt a little bit. We're gonna need two ambulances here for one officer and the suspect with a dog bite. <sighs> off, Jocko. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's but, hey, you said I need a white so, You got this right off. You got don't worry, No, I, I'm, I think I'm going to be fine. I just, the adrenaline's worn off, starting to hurt a little bit. I got hit on my, on my left side. So, he tried to carjack somebody in a silver SUV over there. No, I didn't. He said, the f he did. Shut up. Oh. Dude. I'm trying to carjack nobody. So, yeah, he tried to carjack somebody that was sitting in a silver vehicle okay. over there. Okay, trying to take cover. So, somebody will need to talk to them as well. I think I should be good. I just didn't yeah. check my mirror. I jumped out of my squad yeah. and the car ran me over. I'm glad your fucking dog recognized that it was me. My yeah. squad's yeah. destroyed. Yeah. I think, so, yeah, I think so. I didn't see anybody else get out of the car. Okay. You okay? 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm just out of shape. <laughs> the officers found contraband and discovered that the firearm was loaded. An ambulance finally arrived at the scene. They also found that the gun was stolen. The officer was taken to a nearby hospital. He was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. You got a bag of dope? Load a gun. Nice. He had it. He had it in his f***ing hand when we came around the corner here. He almost got shot. Um, I was right behind you. Yes, would you? Yeah. Holy f yes, please. Thank You're you. Right. I should be fine. I jumped out of my car and got f***ing ran over. I didn't know the car was still in drive. So you got a toy or something my... for his mouth? Or is he right? No. It's... Your car is Yeah, your front door. You want to just put him in the back? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. You're going to try to do If you want. I should be fine. Well, one. I'm going to switch to our air. I'm going to tell her she's probably called thirds then. Okay. My f***ing squad. God damn it. Oh, You can't just replace a K9 car. No. K9 squad missing a door. 38 got hit by a car and is injured, but up and walking. He's going to get checked out. Can you call 8510 or whatever and see? We should probably start third shift in early. This is going to take a bit. Okay, dope was in front and right pocket. Yep. This is all on him. And then gun I saw. Uh, yep. Uh, oh. Is he a felon? Oh, oh. Uh, we want DNA if he's a felon. Okay, yeah, so no I idea. Got, I got these on. Okay, yeah. perfect, thank you. Uh, what we was need that? paper bag. Oh, paper bag? Paper bag for guns if we want DNA. Yeah, yeah. We should transfer the drugs to paper as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah. Me and the other injured cop are the only ones on in Manona. Okay. So I'm gonna have to see how many matters of cops I can steal. Sure. <laughs> Is he getting transported, you know? Oh, uh, sure. Where's his car at? Out on the street, I think his car's total. Oh, okay. Daquan. <sighs> 35, copy at 29. Perfect, thank you very much. First name, Jaquan. Further, it looks like uh, K-9 officers getting transported to a hospital, so we're gonna need more, we're gonna need more bodies here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab a car. Okay, it sounds like Schmitz is already here. Okay, would somebody be able to go up to the hospital with him and stand with him for now? Okay. Is that the 95's property? Yes. Are there keys? Uh, no. Oh, no. The vehicle is locked and the trunk is locked too, so we can't get in the trunk right now. Okay. So we're having Schmitz come out. They could probably prop it open for us. I think what we'll, I guess what we'll do probably just because okay. we might just put a hold on it. We'll let our detectives worry about getting a warrant and then they can dig through it. So, yeah, I guess I'll go to uh, Stolen. 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 Fan fan oh, nice. You were trying to carjack the guy up? No, oh, it was in this parking lot here. Oh, in this parking lot? Yep. Do uh, so you have the case numbers off that offhand? Stolen from us. I haven't looked in the case yet. And then this is the serial number of the gun. I'll remove it right now from NCIC. Jaquan was charged with operator fleeing or eluding an officer, causing bodily harm, second degree recklessly endangering safety, possession of a firearm, and possession of stolen property. It was also found that he had two active warrants and was a fugitive from the Wisconsin Department of Corrections. While Jaquan inadvertently caused bodily harm to an officer, our next individual knowingly caused irreversible mental trauma to those around him. But before that, let's see what happens when someone decides to argue with their girlfriend while having active warrants. The second incident is caused by a man named Bobby Ferguson. On January 21st, 2023, in Columbus, Ohio, officers received a call for a domestic disturbance. During their investigation, they soon found that Bobby had a felony warrant. The officers approached the woman who made the call. She informed that her ex-boyfriend was not allowing her to go inside her house. During their conversation, she told the officers that Bobby had aggressive tendencies and had multiple firearm-related charges. Sounds like the officers have a bigger fish in their hands than they anticipated. Hi, I'm on my I'm sitting on my landlord's other property. All right, who's this? Um, this is my baby dad right now. Who is, what's his um, name? Patrick. Oh, okay. My ex-boyfriend is down at my address at 36. My landlord owns both the property. So I'm yeah. sitting on the porch because I'm watching my house. He will not let me in. I went in there. Is this still there? He hit me with, yeah. tried to hit me with a hammer. The electric got shut off two days ago. Ever since then, he's been going crazy, like, trying to put his hands on me, trying to shove me. I'm the only one on the lease. What's his name? Ro Bobby, Bobby Ferguson. Ferguson. Does he have tattoos on his face? Yeah. He does. Now, he, uh... You have keys to the place? I do. He's inside? Yes, yeah. I do. Yes, I do. He Anybody is. Anybody else inside? 
There shouldn't be. Um, my stepdad might be there. He might have came home from work, but I don't think so because he sh normally shines a flashlight in the window, and I yelled for him. But I took off running, so I don't know if he's gone or Who there. Took huh? Who took off running? I took off running because I didn't want Bobby to see me outside. Bobby, you know him. He's a little gangbanger, a little thug, and he's violent as can be. <laughs> Not that I know of. Did you carry guns? Normally, he's got about four gun charges. He's considered a KF or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he was all Mr. Sweet, I'm changing, I found God, da 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 And I'm in a suboxone clinic trying to get my life together. And he just all of a sudden flipped and I started finding more and more drug paraphernalia everywhere. And I told him he had to go. I didn't want this in my life. And then he turned into this violent, I'm going to kick your face in. Da -da -da. And I'm like, oh God, here we go. Oh, the officers reached the house and tried to start a conversation with Bobby. Instead of talking, he tried to run from them. The officers followed him through the house and were able to apprehend him when he was trying to escape through the window. What's going on, Bobby? Oh. Mind if I see your hands? No, I Why don't you come out here and talk? All night by myself. I went down the street. Hey, keep, keep your Give me your hand! The officers immediately handcuffed him. He was then escorted out of the house. He was placed in front of a cruiser. The officers asked if he had any contraband on him. They searched him for security reasons. <laughs> Stay right there. Don't move. Okay, man. Don't move. Oh! Don't move. All right, man. You got it. You got it. And that shit on me. You got it. Ah. We're good. We got one of these things. Ah. Hey, man. You got it. Go. Why'd you do this? Oh. Let me out of Ah, ah, ah. That really hurts still, man. I'm sorry about that, man. I'm sorry. Hands down. Yeah. You got anything on you? No. Guns, knives, anything? No. Say it now. No, I ain't got no weapons. I'm going to find it. I ain't got no weapons, man. Don't. I ain't got no weapons, man. Stop weapons. turning. Face the cruiser. <laughs> You're gonna wait a few. We didn't have an opportunity to put him on normal. Spread your feet. Okay. Stand straight up. Straight up. Lean back. Yeah. We have a bag. Do you have a bag? We need a bag, yeah. Sorry, you made your decision. Yeah, I did. Look forward. Stand straight up. Stand straight up. The officers found questionable items in his possession. Bobby tried to apologize to the officers. The officers told him that they would readjust the handcuffs shortly. True to their words, they did adjust the cuffs before placing him in the cruiser. Ah. We'll fix those cuffs as soon as we ah. get down here. Don't do that. Just stand straight up. Why are you like... Here,
it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who uh, with the cards right there. I'm not sure about the cards. Fan of them purse. Put these pants on. Somebody sneaks some cards yeah. in your pants. I know. I, I'm, yeah. a, I'm, a, I'm a. I know. I'm a, I'm a, man, you guys deserve, deserve it, man. I'm a, oh, sorry, you guys, man. Sorry about that, buddy. Oh, you're Just be cool. Hey, hey how's it going, man? I'm down, take the gun. Your arms up. Ah! Uh, like as soon as we get done with this, we'll adjust your cuffs. Ah! 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 Oh, it ain't going on tight. Real tight. Which one's tight? Tight. Well, we had to slap a mama real fast. No, no. Wanted to run away. We'll fix them with you. Get over here. Uh, dessert. I might have missed that. No! Pocket on that in the front of there. Nothing. You got a drawer or anything on? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Good. Oh, man. Alright, stand still. I'll adjust these cuffs. Oh, you know, straight up. Straight up. Yeah. Quit wiggling around, just face the freezer like that. Stand right there. Uh, Bobby kept moving around due to the discomfort caused by the handcuff. The officers advised him to stop moving. After adjusting, they placed him inside the cruiser. Upon inquiring, Bobby was informed that his belongings would be returned to him unless it was contraband. Yeah, they still real tight, man. That, that right, right. I know, I know the right one's still oh. tight. I haven't got to it yet. Oh man, God! Oh, ah! Oh. Quit squirming around. He can't Dude, fix him if you're squirming around. Uh, probably in that package, that that paper bag, uh, that little folded paper bag. Yeah. Inside that. Oh. Feel better. Hey, that, uh, that, that 20 bucks, man, will go on my person when I get in there. Anything that we pulled out of your pocket, aside from drugs, paraphernalia, whatever, weapons, knives, food, obviously that won't go. I mean, this is not your first time. Yeah. Your money will go with you. All right, thanks. Bro. All right. Hey, sorry, bro. No, you're good, man. Slide all the way up, man. He was charged with resisting arrest and arrested for a previous felony warrant. As mentioned before now, we will see what happens when someone emotionally traumatizes others for life. You know how, so I'll call you back, okay? The third incident is caused by 39-year-old Vigilant De Haiti. On March 27th, 2022, in Winter Garden, Florida, officers arrested Vigilant for an active warrant. He allegedly coerced a minor victim to produce a visual depiction of sexually explicit content. The officer arrives at the scene, while another officer already apprehended Vigilant. When the officers handcuffed him, he requested that his hands be in front. However, the officers decided to remove the handcuffs as it appeared that he was having a panic attack. An officer informed him about his warrant. Sorry, bitch. Can they be in front of me? Can they, can they handcuffs be in front of me? We'll see, but I, usually I, no. Okay. We'll, we'll, I'll do what I can. I'm doing everything I can to make you comfortable. Give me a second set of these. Give me, give me a second. I got, I got something that, that might work. You want to walk over there, boss? Yeah, let's walk over here. Get, go ahead and, here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Take them off, take them off. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here, let's go. Come over here to my car. Come over here to my car so I don't stand down in the middle of the road. I'll grab it. Right, just stand still for a second. Hang on one second. Hang on one second.
They, do you have any type of anxiety or anything like that? No? Okay, come here, come here. I got my phone in my uh, we got, we got, your, we got your phone. And my keys in my pocket. Here, you can sit, lean up against that. So, I'm going to share some, some information with you, alright? You're not handcuffed right now. I want you to remain calm and be cool, okay? There's an outstanding warrant issued for your arrest. It's out of Lake County. Okay, so your beef is not with us, okay? I understand, Sergeant House, and you have a relationship, okay? We want to maintain professionalism and respect, okay, but we still have a job for you. The officer informed Vigilant that despite the warrant, his health would still be their concern. He told him to inform them if he felt unwell. His wife was calling him, showing sympathy. The officer allowed him to talk to her. If you feel like you're gonna pass out, or it's, if things are gonna become too overwhelming for you, you need to relay that to me, okay, because your well-being at the end of the day is still a priority. I will make sure that we get you evaluated so nothing uh, escalates from there, okay? But if you take a look, everyone else here is being chill, okay, so Hello, you need, I'm, I'm not saying you are. What, I'm, what makes me concerned was your reaction, okay? I don't want you to have a panic attack, okay? That's what I don't want because stress is very, very powerful. I don't want to see that happen. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. It's probably my wife calling me. Alright, here's what we're gonna do Wait. for now. Let's go away. Where's this phone at? You want, can you talk, uh, can you talk to her on that? Yeah. Kirkland. Has talk to her on that. Was hey, Kels. Hey, um, I'm with Jerry. Um, so, <clears throat> you know how, so I'll call you back, okay? Um, we can call her back in a few minutes. Okay, she, they said we can call you back in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Kirkland, pull, pull your car up so you don't get rear ended over there. <clears throat> okay. Let me, let me do this too. I'm gonna, because I don't want that getting messed up. Can I take that off of you? I think it does. Yes. Can you see without these or no? Yes, I'm gonna put them right here on the hood of this car. Right, right next to the wall. Think, think that for me. As Vigilant appeared calm, the officer decided to grab a handcuff that would be fit for his physical status. While they waited for confirmation of his warrant, they informed him that he was being detained, despite not being handcuffed. It's just, it's just overwhelming and off guard. Listen, I got I gotta put him behind your back, but I got these. Okay, and they're bigger, so they'll fit your wrists. Okay, all right. We'll, we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll give it. We'll give it a minute. We'll give it a minute. We'll give it a minute. Let's wait for. Let's wait for confirmation. Did we send for confirmation? No, not yet. Let me do let's, that. Let's go ahead and send. This back to report. You can show one secure at this time. You sent for confirmation. So, so you, you understand you're not free to go at this time, okay? Although you're not physically handcuffed, you're essentially are being detained until you're Typic Typically, someone would someone be handcuffed right now. <clears throat> okay. Did you send on one or two? Okay. I'm just so I clean it. Oh, yeah. Everything's, everything's been on one. I think we're short dispatchers today. They had Tom go on, on one earlier today. Yeah. So. Is Kelly home? Were you home this morning? Vigilant wanted to call his wife. However, the officer informed him that his phone was seized and he would not be able to access it. He also explained that they were only apprehending him. The actual case belonged to a different county. He was also informed about his bond amount. Is that the, huh? To come up, right? I'll be 100% honest with you. One of the directives we got was to collect your phone. So I have to seize your phone for evidence. That must allow to let you open it. So what's going to happen is they're going to get a search warrant. This isn't our case, so I, I don't know what's going to happen. This is Lake County. All we got was a, they contacted us and said, hey, we want you to go and, and find this guy. And since I knew you, I'm like, I would rather it be me than somebody else because I don't know how somebody else is going to treat you. 
so 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 what's what's happening is there's a warrant somebody somebody in Lake County or Claremont I forget who it is mm -hmm. has probable cause for charges okay. they've got a thirty thousand dollar bond so that means you got to go see a bondman. You got to pay that bondsman ten percent of that thirty thousand. What is that? What's what? Three three thousand dollars <throat> to a bondsman. The officer explained the entire situation to Vigiland and what his next course of action should be. They also told him about the seizure of his phone. Furthermore, they suggested that he talk to a bondsman. So, so, okay, so I can't ask, to ask me whatever questions can you want. Call my attorney. Not right now, but whenever, because we, we got to take you to the Orange County Jail, because we can't go to Lake County. Orange County? We got to take you to the Orange County Jail. So I got to get a bondsman from Orange County. So here's here's the tricky part. Once you get there, you're going to be put in a big room full of telephones. Make all of your phone calls then. I don't know the numbers. What? I'll get you, we'll get you a piece of paper with all the numbers. Any numbers you want, we'll get you a piece of paper, okay? Okay, what if my attorney says they're not allowed to use my phone? What do you mean? Like, to get my phone. So here's what's going to happen. Your attorney can't tell us not to seize your phone. If they if they feel like if so, I don't know the case. So I'm just giving you very general information here. Okay. If the detective or the the police officer whoever got this warrant, if they can show to a judge that they have probable cause that there is evidence on your phone of a crime, either this one or, or another one, whatever, then they can petition that judge for a search warrant. If that judge grants a search warrant, then they can go through your phone, and your attorney can't stop them because they'll be given a, a search warrant by the by a judge. Okay, I'm just taking my, your phone per their di direction. I'm not going through your phone. I'm not going to look at your phone. The only thing we might do is we'll open it up and get the phone numbers that you want. Which okay, and you'll presence. be you'll be in view to see what we're how we're manipulating your phone to see what we're getting. And everything on our end is being audio and video. Okay. So if, if they don't have probable cause to go through your phone, then you'll get your phone back and, and that'll be the end of it. But again, I don't know any details. I'm just giving you general information on how it usually, usually works. Okay? 30,000. 30, so, so it's a $30,000 bond. If you go to a bondsman, they charge you 10% of whatever the bond is. You pay them $3,000 and they will put up the 30000 does that make sense? So the bondsman is paying your thirty thousand dollars, which they will get a return to them whenever you show up to court. They keep your three thousand. That's how they make money. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a chance. When, whenever, whenever we get to a point of if if this is confirmed, because it happens where so I know. Okay. So sometimes it, sometimes it's not confirmed. If they can't pull that warrant out and have it in their hand then we walk away, you go home. The officers honored Vigilant's previous request and called his wife. They allowed him to bring her up to speed on the whole situation. He also asked her to contact his attorney. An officer then told her about their next course of action. You say, we can do it from my phone, that way we don't have to start 67 and then, because I don't care if he has my number. So you said all 80? Um, it's already ringing. Okay. Hi ma'am, this is Officer Murray with the Winter Garden Police Department. I'm here with uh, your husband. I just want to let you know our body cameras are activated, okay, so everything on our end is being audio and video recorded. Um, so, so Vigilant, your husband, um, I'll let him explain, okay? Hang on one second. Hey, Kels, um, apparently they're going to take me to Orange County Jail, um, and I guess, I, I think there's a bondsman place right around somewhere over there, maybe. There's like they're right across the street. They're right, they're, they're okay, right, down there. Apparently right across the street. Um, it's going to be $3,000, or $30,000 bond. bond. You have to post 10%. I have to post 10%. I don't, okay. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, can you, um, uh, call my mom? Okay. And then, um, uh, um, um, I will, tr get, can you go to pain so I can give you my attorney's number? What's it under? Um, I, Mark, I, I, got, I can't oh, let you Mark, have your phone back. Mark Longwell. Hang, hang on. How do I get to cancel? Right. What are you looking for? Uh, I want to go to search. Mark. Orange County? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. It's going to be the uh, Mark Orange Longwell. County booking Longwell, and receiving facility yeah. okay. in uh, downtown Orlando. 
Um, Kelly, um, the, oh, sorry. Can you write down this number? Yep. 407-426-5757. So if you have your wife's number and that number, you should, you know, everything else can be coordinated. <clears throat> okay. 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 And they're going there right now? Uh, no, ma'am. We're, we're, still, we're still confirming some details. Okay. This is likely going to be the potential outcome. Um, so we're just trying to extend every courtesy we can. Once, once some information gets right confirmed, right. he'll get transported mode. right directly to the uh, so you can see what I'm doing. No, I just, I just put in it in Orange County. Mode. Oh, okay. And then if you have any other questions, Sergeant House there. Um, okay. will be working so today until 6 p.m. Is that the only time okay. you need it? to reach him? He'll, he'll reach you, so he'll have to go through a whole uh, booking and receiving that you don't know off the top process of at the jail. And at one point, there's a whole wall of phones. He'll be allowed to make phone calls at that point. And we're writing down all the numbers that he's requested uh, right now, which will go with him. And uh, he'll be able to contact you at that point, and you'll be able to uh, figure it out from there. Vigilant was finally handcuffed by the cops. He was then placed inside a police cruiser. After much difficulty, he was seated in the vehicle. Free for me, man. Good. You gotta double lock those. Yep. Yeah, just. Okay. Yeah. It's in my wallet on this side. Hey, you can use. Okay. We'll find it. Secure time. We'll find it. So okay. I'm gonna bring these back to your, your wife, okay? Because you have cash in here, and, and bringing cash into the jail is. Because they Never put it fun. into a machine and then they you don't get the cash back. Okay. There you go. If you want to just lay back, I'm I'm okay with that. Because I don't know that you're gonna be able to spin your feet in there. Oh, tell me tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. It just pinched. Okay. I couldn't move. What do you what do you need me to do? I try to, I was trying to slap back, I can't get my hands back in. You got the Oh here I can push you back. Step right there. There you go. Right, that's as far as the ball can go over here. All right. Can you get in there? Can you spin around? It's gonna be, it's gonna be tight. Get, get comfortable however you can. If, you, know, if you don't have to spin around, if you can't. <laughs> so can you loosen the bell right there? I'm not getting more. There you can you get your foot? There's more room up in here if you can get your foot in there. There you go. Here, let's do let's do this. Pull your feet back out and just go ahead and lay back. Is that, is that, is that gonna be better? You can literally put your feet up here. Are you good? Are you good there? Okay. Are you alright? No, I, I mean, are you sitting okay? Vigilant de Haiti was charged in the federal indictment with one count of possessing images and videos of children being sexually exploited, one count of production of child sexual abuse images and videos, and one count of enticement of a minor to engage in sexual activity. Later, Vigilant entered a guilty plea. While Vigilant could hardly keep his composure when handcuffed, our next individual was able to keep herself calm throughout the entire procedure. My sisters, call my mom. Uh, you call it RGO, call my mom. The last incident revolves around Nikki. On April 11th, 2023, in St. Petersburg, Florida, an officer knocked on the door of a woman with an active warrant. She seemed surprised that she had a warrant. The officer inquired about the warrant. Nikki told him that she did not know about it. He then handcuffed her. She requested her shoes and phone. The officer let a family member know about the warrant and asked for the items. You need to get anything to go with you? You need a phone or something? Yeah, I need to call somebody. Okay, you wanna, um, what do you wanna take with you? You wanna take some shoes, maybe your phone? Uh -huh. Okay, what you, what's your warrant for from PCSO? What they got you for? Uh, it was an old bed set that I had. An accident? An old bed set. What, I'm sorry? Old bed set. A what? A bed set. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Okay. Um, how long has it been out for? This is new to me. 
Okay. All right. I guess did you miss cord or something? Is that what happened? I guess so. Hey, I'm not sure. On okay. All right. Just go ahead and turn me on. Put your hand back. back. I'll, help, I'll get your okay. shoes or whatever you Wait, want. Wait. Hold okay? on. Can I get my phone real quick? I need to call yeah, 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 I can. I can let you call her. But you gotta put your hands on your back, all right? Just. Wait, what's her shoe? I get it. I get it. I get it. But I listen. Okay. We'll get your shoes. You want your phone, right? Okay. I'm gonna tell my brother. Can your brother, your brother get the phone? Mm-hmm. All right. Your shoes. Mm-hmm. All right. What's his name? Um, Chris. Was it? Chris. Chris. Chris, can you open the door and get her shoes for her? Can you grab her shoes and phone, man? She got a warrant, okay? <clears throat> can he call you to come pick you up? Or you can call him? How much money to be the bill out? I don't know, but can you, you got a way to get him to pick her up? Can you can Uber her? Hey, you need keys for him to come get a car to get you to pick you up? Oh, I, I grab a phone. Grab her phone, yeah, so she has the numbers, yep. The officer inquired if she had missed a court date. He added that the sheriff should have informed her about the date a few months ago. When Nikki asked, the officer told her about the bond. What the f- what this for? Yes, did you miss court? Is that what happened? How did y'all- what did you- who even told you to come to my house? The sheriff. When was this? <laughs> like, five minutes ago. They just called us and said- How long do I have to stay here? Well, probably you get a bond, right? Uh, is there no, any reason you want to get a bond? Oh, no. Probably a bond, I'm assuming. Do I have to stay the night here? I think you could, I'm guessing, I don't know your story, but I'm guessing you could probably bond out. Almost everyone gets the bond out, so I'm gonna guess you're gonna get a bond. I'm gonna call her real quick and start. She was allowed to inform her mother and sister about her arrest. However, she did not want to talk to the mother. The officer informed her that she could call later while in custody. Call her, y'all. Is that mom? Her mom? Who's that? Your sister? Yeah. Call her mama. Well, yeah. you talk to her real quick. Go, it's in Clay Tags. My sister, call my mom. You call her, call my mom. Call my mom. Where's the mama? She's on the mama. I don't want to talk to her. She's taking me to jail. You want to talk to her? Okay, hang it up and we'll, we'll, we'll give her the number to call so she can call. Them on the phone, right? She can check. She can take the numbers out of the jail. Call? Is that call them? No, or you want the numbers for the jail? I can take my phone with me. You can go ahead and talk to them. Yeah, do you need do you need like a, a wall or something I can, when you get I out? They know her. I can write their number. I know my mama number and all that. I'll, I'll bring it for her. She can make, we'll turn it off. They'll, they'll let her write the numbers you want me now. Call nobody. I'll call you. Okay, she'll be. I'm pretty sure she'll be on that. Um, your number in here? Or you want it right now? Oh, well, there's no I know number. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. We're going to have her call you when she gets there, okay? All right. So maybe like an hour and a half, okay? Uh, all right. Okay. Watch yourself, okay? She was then escorted to the police cruiser. On her way to the cruiser, she asked how they were able to locate her. She informed that this was her first time. He told her she could be out within the day if she paid her bond. Uh, let me see which way we're going. I'm out in the back parking lot. Why are you looking at me? Come and get you. Yeah, for what? Because you got a warrant. The judge says to go told the cops to go get you. How do you know who I was here? I don't know. They got all kinds of secret methods. I'm being serious. I don't know how they knew. Um, is the judge going to be angry that you missed or no? No, because I didn't even know about this. This is my first time getting in trouble. Oh. Did you go to court Do already? Do I have to go to the back with all those big mean people? Oh, only 23. Yeah, you gotta go to the regular one. But you don't, you've oh never, been, you God, never been so there before? No. Okay, you're gonna bond out probably. Unless, unless you didn't do anything like crazy, right? No. No murder or nothing, right? No. I don't, Nikki, I don't know yet, so I'm just asking. So. Due to the officer being generous, he utilized a second pair of handcuffs. When the cop probed into the matter, she denied having any knowledge about the warrant. He informed her that she would be issued a court date. Furthermore, he informed her of potential future consequences. She was then transported to jail. Yeah, let me, um, this is so freaking stupid. Can you uh, do me a favor? Could you do a transport for me and I'll do the paperwork for her? Yeah, okay. Um, you want to do a second pair of handcuffs for her just so she can make it. I'm going to put the second pair on so your your arms can be wider, okay? Uh-huh. So it's not so tight. Because it hurts up in the shoulders, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Is it really... This is I'm so guessing stupid. this is a missing court. Do you think that maybe they... I've have... never even been in jail before. I don't Did know what this for. Did the detective talk to you about a case or something? No. Oh. What's your charge? Do you remember? Told you. 
What's that about? A rental car, probably? Oh, bed. A bag? A bed. Oh, a bed. A bed. Okay. Ooh. Uh, you want to take one of those off? Is it going to give me my... Yeah. Is I'm going to be able to get out of jail tonight? Yes. Oh. I'm, I'm assuming so. That, that's... Because uh, it doesn't say you missed any court. <clears throat> so, since you didn't miss any court, they'll let you pay a bond, okay? Mm -hmm. And then the idea is that the, the money is just there for you to make sure you show up to court, okay? So, they'll give you a court date and all that. Am I going to be able to use that little... Four, 10, Am I going to be able to use that little free phone call group? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to let you write phone numbers out of your phone down on a piece of paper. And then they're just going to put you in a big room, okay? They probably won't even put you in a cell, all right? Because they're going to want... They're, you listen, this is a... a, a, a they got a lot of money in this county, so these people are well paid and they're real professional. It's not like TV, all right? So when you go there, you're in a good county for this. They have a big room with a bunch of phones, and you can use the phone to call your family or the bondsman, okay? To figure out how to get out, right? Uh, I don't know how big the bond is, big or small. If it's big, you can call bail bondsman, all right? And they charge you like 10 or 15% of whatever the money is, so don't freak out when you hear the number, okay? Mm -hmm. And then um, if it's low, you can just pay it, okay? And it's just, it's just a loan that's promising you come out of court, and when you show up to court, they give you the money back, okay? Okay. All right. So he's going to get it. Listen, the most important thing is we don't want you any more trouble. Do you have anything like hidden on your person, like tucked in any weed anywhere, any kind of drugs, any kind of. A... No. Well, we caught you off guard, so I want to make sure you wouldn't have nothing. Okay. And, uh. Um, could you wait? Could y'all make a phone call off my phone real quick? Uh, who do you want to call? I was trying to call my, my mama. Oh, you didn't want to talk to her? I didn't. I didn't want. I didn't want listen, him to go they're gonna write the number. <laughs> listen, they're gonna write. Okay, I got gotcha. you. They're gonna hey, write the number you? down. You can call her as soon as you get there. Okay. She'll actually get you out. Okay. Nikki was arrested for her active warrant. If you enjoyed these true crime videos, subscribe to watch more.